Pat threw the ball to nine different receivers in this game uh, with rookie Rasheed Rice leading the way. Rice had nine receptions for 91 yards and a touchdown. With seven touchdowns on the season, Rasheed now has the most receiving touchdowns by a rookie in Chiefs franchise history. Yeah, pretty awesome, I'm, man. I'm proud as hell for him. Uh, yeah. of him, man. He's uh, he's slowly been taking more and more responsibility as this year's gone on, and him and Pat have been able to, you know, up to this point, even uh, create a great relationship and a a, a great, you know, common ground uh, on in, in big key moments too. I'm talking about third downs when we need it most. I think his games are going to keep growing, and I think Coach Reed does a great job with uh, young players. Uh, I know because he. He helped me out a lot as a, as a young player, but he's he's going to keep putting Rishi in great places and great positions to have success in utilizing his skills skill sets moving forward, man. And uh, I'm just happy for him that he's finally, you know, I don't know. It just seems like he's taking a lot of lot more ownership, definitely throughout the week and uh, during the games. And man, I'm uh, I'm excited as hell for him. Yeah, he's he's having a tremendous season. Um, he's also second in uh, most receptions in franchise history by a rookie with 68 trailing. Only one receiver was 70 uh, in their rookie year, which we both are very aware of, which is Dwayne Bow. Somewhere over the Dwayne Bow, baby. <laughs> That's my fucking dog right there. He was man. a beast when we D were Bo, just coming into the league. You know it. The pride of LSU, the pride of... Uh... South Florida, man, that's uh, it's one of my it's one of my favorite teammates of all time, man. It was it killed me to see him go to Cleveland, um, but I'll I'll tell you what, man, he did an unbelievable job my first couple of years of just fueling me with confidence to be myself, uh, come into the building and be myself. Don't be uptight, even though it is a, a serious job and uh, anybody can get hurt, man. You just got to have fun every single day. And Debo did he had more fun than anybody, and uh, he definitely he he fueled everybody around him, man. Well, uh, Rasheed Rice was not the only one to have a big game. Jet McKinnon and Clyde edwards hilaire It looked like it was uh, the backs were getting involved in this one, man. GBC, yeah, man, good, bro good brother Clyde. <laughs> oh yeah, he went he Jet went airborne for a touchdown. Go ahead. I saw that. Yeah, Jet finished with a uh, not only one receiving touchdown but a passing touchdown. That's right. Um, the play that everybody is talking about that Andy somehow got from a black and white footage from what, what year did he say it was from 1940s he uh 1940s. it's so funny in introducing these plays because it's always from a tv copy of a game that you really like you can barely see where the guys are lined up and when you press play it just looks like commotion it just looks like shit's going on and you really don't know where the ball is because the picture just isn't that clear <laughs> yeah when he installed it we were everybody was in their head like that play is definitely going to work. Yeah. Like 100% guarantee going to work. Um, nice. Love having those ones in. And we've, been, we've had it. We've had, we've been working on it for the, probably the past 10 weeks, I would assume thinking about where we are in the Letting season. Letting it marinate, making sure yeah. that you're making sure we you're, got that thing down ready for perfect. all the different looks that could possibly happen. You know what and, I mean? Yeah. And then just at the right time, you know, and sure enough, um, we've been handing it off the entire time. And for some reason, Jet decided to toss it. I have, I've never <laughs> well, seen that play. Where we, <laughs> he wanted this passing TD. He's like, hey, if I toss this, I get a passing touchdown. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask Jet. He's got some improv to him. Uh, I've, I've tossed him a few laterals in my day um, that he's, he's been on the receiving end. Uh, so he can definitely uh, he can des definitely improv a little bit. But um, I'm, I'm going to have to ask him exactly what happened on why he tossed this. <laughs> yeah. And if it's for the passing touchdown, I mean, I would respect it, sir. I respect it. You got to get that on the stats. Well, whatever made him toss it, it worked. With a minute 30 left in the first quarter, it's first and goal. Pat is crouched down next to Jet, uh, who is behind uh, Creed Humphrey, and takes the snap. Oh, wait, no. Takes the direct snap from Joe Tooney, not Creed Humphrey. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even realize that in the, when I was watching it. Big Toon, can, he can do it all. All five positions. Dude, he is a beast. Very un... Like, not enough people know about Joe Tooney. I'll just say that. Been one of the best for a while. They should, yeah. Fakes the pitch to Mahomes, then flips it to Rasheed Rice, who runs it for a four-yard touchdown. Next up, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, uh, good brother Clyde, uh, has a nickname. Good brother Clyde, GBC, baby. It's not good brother Clyde. It's uh, Chiefs Twitter is calling him Air a Lair. Dude, I had a front row seat to this catch. I mean, if you If you guys didn't see me out here getting locked up in the corner, uh, watching Clyde just go up and moss this dude. They, I, he was floating in the air for about what felt like five seconds. Yeah. 
And I was just like in my head, I'm just like, get down, get down, get down before he pushes you out. Get down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he landed with the ball on his chest or in his grasps. And I just went fucking nuts, man. I was just like, ah, damn, that was those are the kind of plays that you need in a in a tight game, in a tough game like that where it's hard to score in the red zone. And uh Clyde coming up with one of the best catches of the season so far, man. 